Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Wednesday Read Aloud. This week we are reading Red and Lulu by Matt Tavares. Red and Lulu. Do you see who Red and Lulu are? They're two birds. Red and Lulu. Let's see what happens to Red and Lulu in this story. In the front yard of a little house, on a branch of a mighty evergreen, there lived a happy pair of cardinals. Red and Lulu. Red and Lulu were happy in their tree. Their nest was always safe in its branches. Its shade kept them cool on hot summer days. Its evergreen needles kept them cozy when, when autumn winds howled. It was the perfect place all year long. But their favorite time of year by far was winter. The family would decorate the tree with lights and sometimes people would gather near and sing, Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Do you see them singing outside? There they are. Red and Lulu loved to listen to the people singing about the tree. Sometimes they even sang along. One chilly morning, just as the cold months were starting again, Red went out to find some breakfast. Lulu stayed behind, tucked in the branches of the tree. There goes Red. Oh, look, a truck is pulled up. I wonder what that's for. Ooh. What's happening? When Red returned, he could not believe what he saw. The tree had moved. It was on its side, strapped to a back of a big truck. Red could hear the sweet sound of Lulu's song coming from inside the tree. And then the truck drove away. Red chirped frantically, telling Lulu to stay right where she was, telling her that he would be right there. Hmm, where do you think that truck's going? There it goes. Off on the subway, up on the, on the highway, there it goes. Across the Golden Gate Bridge. Red flew as hard as he could for as long as he could, but the truck was just too fast. Before long, Red lost sight of the tree. Still, he kept flying, trying to catch up. Soon he found himself in a strange place, unlike any place he had ever seen. Do you know where he is? He's in New York City. There were lion statues and food vendors. For days, Red searched everywhere. He was tired and hungry. He wondered if he would ever see Lulu again. Look, and it's snowing so hard. The snow reminded him of Lulu. He missed her so much, he could almost hear the song they loved. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Wait, wait, he could hear the song they loved. Red flew toward the sound. The voices grew louder and louder, and then he turned the corner. And do you know what he saw? He turned the corner and saw his tree. There it is. Red chirped with glee and soared over the crowd. He flew right for his favorite branch. Oh, and I see someone. Do you see someone? Who's that? Lulu! There she was in the tree. 
Red and Lulu were happy in their tree and watched with pride as thousands of people marveled at its beauty. Look at it. They're ice skating and singing and taking pictures in front of their tree. Then one day, workers came and took that tree away. This time, Red and Lulu stayed. Look, they have a new tree and a new nest and a place to bathe. They found a new place to make a home in a park surrounded by trees and grass and lots of friends. Now every year when the air turns cold, Red and Lulu make a special trip. And when the crowd sings, they sit together, snuggled close on the snowy branch, and they listen. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. And sometimes they even sing along. There they are. The end. Great listening, everyone. Now, this Christmas, I want you to all keep an eye out for some birds and see if you can sing a song to them. What is your favorite Christmas song? Maybe you can get them to sing along too. The end. It was so wonderful getting to read with you and I hope you all have a wonderful week and a Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.